Good morning, tank friends. Here we are in the good old premium Churchill 3, trying to train up my KV2 crew a little bit more to get some of their skills going. I've got a few skills, I don't know if I can see them here. No, you can't actually. It'd be nice if you could hover over and say, hey, what, what skills have I got on these guys? I've got some. Um, I think, I can't remember if I've got Brothers in Arms done all the way to to done or not. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh, some picture, please, thanks. Hellcat, that is scary. Hmm. And we're on this map, which is one of those ones where it tends to be a fight at around G, H, 9 and, well, EF, G, 9 and 10 tends to be a popular place, I think, for people to go and fight and die. I'm going to try my luck and go around the sort of columns two and three and then down. I think that's going to be the way to go. Because... Well, actually, all the other heavies are going the other way, so maybe this is the wrong way to go. Maybe conventional wisdom says you take heavy that way. But I've never had a huge amount of luck going that way, and especially in this tank. It's going to take me a while to cross the river. And that is going to be slow going for me. I mean, obviously, 28 kilometers an hour top speed on the Churchill. Not, not the nippiest of heavy tanks. It's sort of, I guess, a classic British tank, one of those ones. Which, and this is a Lend-Lease one, so this is obviously a tank that the British gave away. Well, <clears throat> sort of sold, I guess, to the Soviet Union. And it's nice. I like it. I think this is this is. I don't want to sound like a an awful sort of free-to-play scrub, but this is the only premium tank that I think I've actually bought because I enjoyed it actually a lot, and it's one of those tanks that has actually successfully grown on me. And then we're going to destroy your car and your gate. <laughs> Property damage. And the KV ones decided to drive me down this road. Yeah, let's go for the castle. Well, it's time to it's time to be the tank that I know I can be. That but that's a lot of dudes. I mean, think I'm sure we have to penetrate me with relative ease. I don't think I can actually do any damage. Oh wait, Enemy there's a weak spot there. Oh what? Like... I just realised how many tanks there are here. This is... This is... This is mad! Holy crap! Sweet mother of god, no. Oh no, and now the, the tank destroyer is here too. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well. Let's go, T25 did a great job of actually getting around the time and doing damage. I've got to remember that I need to, the armor is good, but I can't take on that many tanks at once. They are just going to get around the side and destroy me. Oh, speaking of getting destroyed, let's watch another. Nice. Speaking of watching things getting destroyed, let's watch someone else. Yay, Pastor H with he's got he's <laughs> got sweet tats. Nice camouflage. Got some logos going on there. He's gone for the whole shebang. To be fair, the the Panzer 4H is a tank that if someone says 
Could you pick a tank to dress up a little? I'd dress up a fancy for H. Give it, give it a nice paint scheme. I'm surprised that there aren't more silly paint scheme options. I like that um, wargaming for World of Warships has got a sort of um, arpeggio blue steel option where you can have glowing neon on your World War Two era. World War One era battleships, that's quite funny. Um, but you've got to earn those, I haven't earned those yet. I might do some videos on World of Warships actually, I find that's it's a game which has all of the kind of strengths, all of, a lot of things that I like in World of Tanks are in World of, well, World of Tanks are in World of Warships. And a lot of things I don't like in World of Tanks aren't in World of Warships. I've been trying out their new Soviet sort of destroyer line with their really weird torpedoes. Three kilometer range of torpedoes is just not enough. Come on. How has he not been able to do anything to that guy? Oh, come on, Bucky Panzer 4H. I mean. Love is a strong word, but I love that little tank. You gotta. It's the medium tank that thinks it's a light. Well, no, it's not the medium tank that thinks it's a light tank. It's the medium tank that knows what it is. It's the medium tank that's that's all dressed up. It's ready to go. Look at that stubby little gun. Oh, God, it's adorable. I just want to just pull it out of the screen and give it a hug. Before gaming made cuddly tanks like you bought like a premium tank and they'd send you like a cuddly version of that tank that would be amazing I don't think there are many places that make cuddly tanks now I think about it it's not a it's not one of the things that I've seen many places offer I'm gonna have to go and look this up after it's cuddly tanks Normally, watching someone is, you know, is death, but apparently, I haven't cursed this guy. He's kicking around on 8% of his hit points, and there's one tank left, it's the VK30 or 1H, it is full health, but we've got an OI and a KD1 just, just playing with it. This is disgraceful. Just finish him off, lads. Uh, there is a rock in the way, though, just a... Oh, thank goodness. Salvation came from the Pants 4H, yes! 